Hi guys, welcome to another video. Market has been pretty sideways. Now we're just trading in the range there. We would ideally wouldn't want to be here, but we are still here and we can't do pretty much about anything about that. We just have to be patient in these ranges as well. We look into the DXY, still going high, still going up, about 100 already, still in that range that we discussed yesterday. And even our USDT has been in the range that we had discussed around 4.47. So looks okay, but that's not what we would want. But good to see that the other's dominance and some layer ones have begun to bounce where we can see Luna's dominance is up, AVAX dominance is up, and AXS is also up, and others dominance is also trying to come back up, which is a plus sign for us. Now, if we want to look at BTC USDT, we can see that BTC is still trading in range. While market cipher clearly shows us that we should come back in the ranges of $41,600. But overall, we are still making some kind of a bear flag and a double bottom is forming as well. We can probably have this a big double bottom or a small double bottom to act in very, very soon. And probably then we can have some kind of relief. Frankly, that could bring us back into 41,000. But for that, we have to be very, very cautious. Just monitor the markets and see what's going to be coming next for us. It's very easy to believe that you want to get into any kind of trade while there's no trade available in the market. So really have to be cautious in that scenario and very, very patient because we just don't want to get into a trade because we want to get into a trade like I said yesterday and also day before yesterday. Now if we get into each chart, we can clearly see that it's just trading in the range that we had discussed. And the range is similar to BTC. A nice bear flag is forming as well here, which is going to be a massive blow if we do break downwards. But overall right now, we're just consolidating here. Even market cipher here is showing us that we should come back into the regions of $3,135. So that is going to be a very handy and good sign for the market to have a relief bounce and probably have some kind of cup forming as well if we do come back up to $3,300. But overall, it does look all right. If you also want to see the RSI, looks okay. We've had some kind of bullish divergence as well. And overall, we also have a very good side to signal showing us the momentum should head upwards. But obviously, that matters with the MACD and a lot of other indicators in the market as well. Right now, we still have to believe that we are pretty sideways in this given range, which is about $3,100 to around $2,960. So overall, market does look okay. It does have a very good bounce. We expected a good, very good consolidation period from AR. And AR surely has done that, has hold up very, very well up till now in the markets. We did have a very good upside to almost $41 ever since that we're waiting for the bad, big resistance to be coming in at $44 but we didn't have that resistance come in yet but overall the pattern looks okay the chart looks okay we should have another retest of our weekly downtrend line and if we do break above that then we can believe that we can come back into regions of $37 and even our market side is showing us that we could easily be at $33 which brings us exactly closer to our weekly downtrend line. Now we want to look at Solana. Solana is also looking very, very good. Solana had all the way an upside of $143. Now we have come back down to the levels of $103. We have a resistance coming in very, very soon, which will also bring us very, very close to our resistance line and also weekly downtrend line as they both collide in the same zone. So we are expecting a move up to $108 as we can also see by market cycle showing us clearly that there's an upside possible in the market. Long positions are already open in market. And even momentum is looking very, very good with Mike S I for B. So overall, we can expect some kind of big move to be coming in. We can also see a small bullish divergence coming in as these levels do have changed, but the difference is massive. So we can consider them a hidden bullish divergence. Overall, if we want to look into AVAX as well. So as we get into AVAX, we can see that AVAX had a very good upside. We are having a retest of the massive uptrend that we AVAX had been creating. For past several months now, we had a retest here as well, and now we're having similar retest. We can clearly see we have made a double bottom already. We need to complete it to come back to $80. Once we do that, that will also be the levels that Cypher is suggesting us. So we can have a breakout that could easily bring us back into the support levels of $90. Looks okay, looks very promising. We also have MACD long positions open, and even the market Cypher V is showing us the momentum should go upwards from here. Overall, RSI also looks very good. So overall, most of the coins right now in the market do look very, very good. We can expect some kind of an upside to be coming. Even in Luna, there's similar scenarios. So now we should look into the other factors of the market and see what is going to be happening for us in crypto bubbles today. So now we can see that the bubbles are looking pretty much green and some of them are red as well. While Waves is down about 9.7%. Ship pump pretty, pretty hard yesterday went up to 20.4%. 
looks very very good if wine is up about six percent matic is up so overall there's a mix going on right now in the market while some coins are pumping some coins are in correction that's what we would ideally want to have because market can't have a clear upside it has to have both sides and both directions going very very well now what's going to be happening in our fear levels we are still in extreme fear we are at 25 levels yesterday we were at 20 because we dumped pretty hard and now we are some kind of making a lower high in case we don't dump below otherwise we can also consider this to be a higher low position and we're going to have a traversal in the trend and probably that's going to change things for us now we want to look into long and short ratios of global data we can see 24 hours it's about 54 percent is long and one hour we have even stevens about 51 to 48 percent long short ratio block trades we can see it's about 51 percent long in 24 hours and we have about 57 percent long and 42 percent short in one hour so in block trades we can expect people are more bullish right now if you want to see popular coin scores we can expect a put market sentiment is about neutral neutral the pre even stevens here not much difference not about 60 percent so it's okay funding rates are pretty normal that is good for us overall we can see that the most market right now is feeling neutral so that is a very very good sign for us and probably that's going to bring some kind of a good correction or some kind of pump coming in later into the day also because that's going to be something exciting to look forward to now we want to get into startup obviously we're going to be having a bubble form by baby shark bubble form friends is inspired by the classic arcade puzzle games that have stood so this is going to be something amazing we got 20 hours to go in that i'm sure you're going to really like into this so if you want to get into all these startups all you have to do is click in the link given in the description below join gate.io with my referral code or with the link that's going to earn you a lot of airdrops rewards and i'm sure all of you are going to really really like all of that because that's what everything is about now if you want to see the new listed coins that we have discussed in the past several days we have seen a massive upside in seek tiger seek tiger is up about 800 percent right now as we see it's trading above that looks very very good then we also discussed something exchange something exchange is also up about nearly about 800 percent looks very very good so both the coins have performed really really well and i'm really 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 happy that most of you guys would have loved how both of these coins have performed so for 700 percent 600 percent obviously everybody want to have gains like that and everybody loves gains like that as well so if we want to look at btc into its higher low lower high situations so in this price structure we are close very close by and even right now we look very, very good because we haven't even broken the previous low so overall the situation looks very very good even very very bullish we can consider so overall we are expecting cypher on the daily time frames to bring us back higher into the zones of 42,000. so we really have to monitor the market and see whether this breakout is going to be coming very very soon i would ideally want to wait for this bear flag to uncomplete or at least not complete this pattern before aping into trades because we're making another bear flag after another bear flag and we are kind of coming down otherwise the best location for me ideally would be on this trend line because we are following this trend line for some time now so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's what keeps me motivated and i'm gonna be back in here tomorrow for you guys take care guys bye bye